There are many psychological truths about the human mind that we often fail to fully appreciate, particularly when it comes to the delicate dynamics between men and women. These truths, though sometimes unsettling, aren't hidden from us. The challenge is not that they are hard to find, but that they are difficult to confront. We, as human beings, often resist facing realities that challenge our emotions, assumptions, or desires. The Stoics understood this very well. Their philosophy taught us to pierce through the illusions of the world, to look beyond fleeting emotions and momentary passions that cloud our vision. They urged us to confront reality with a clear mind, with courage and with strength. In today's world, where emotional responses and quick judgments often dominate, this ancient wisdom can be more relevant than ever. Surface-level interactions and inner disturbances. When we interact with others, especially in the realm of attraction and relationships, it's easy to get lost in surface-level dynamics. We're swayed by desires, pulled by passions, and influenced by the subtle dance of attraction and power. This can feel thrilling at times, but it can also lead to frustration, confusion and misunderstanding. It's important to recognize that much of the disturbance we feel in these moments doesn't come from others. It comes from within. The philosopher Epictetus famously said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views they take of them. This wisdom holds true when it comes to relationships as well. How we perceive women, how we interpret their actions, often says more about us than it does about them. We are often led astray by our own emotional reactions. We might see betrayal where none exists, or we might feel manipulated when, in reality, we are wrestling with our own insecurities. This internal struggle often masks itself as external conflict, but in truth, the battle is within our own minds. Understanding the complexity of human nature. Women, like men, are complex beings. Their emotional landscapes can shift rapidly and they might express themselves in ways that feel confusing or even manipulative. However, it's essential to recognize that manipulation is not always driven by malice. In many cases, it's a reaction to fear or uncertainty. Just as men struggle with doubts and insecurities, women do too. The behavior that may appear calculated or manipulative is often a defensive mechanism, a way of navigating their own vulnerabilities. Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers, once said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This means that the way we choose to view the world and others shapes our entire experience. If we approach women or anyone with suspicion or mistrust, those feelings will cloud our perception. The suspicion will color everything we see and over time, it can distort reality. Emotional influence and the role of women. We must also acknowledge that emotions can be powerful tools of influence. Women, often more in tune with their emotional states, can wield their emotions in ways that might unsettle us. This emotional intelligence can be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it allows for deeper connection and empathy. On the other, it can be perceived as unsettling or even manipulative when we don't fully understand it. But here's the important part. This isn't something to resent. The Stoic approach teaches us that the key to a good life is to focus on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. In the context of relationships, this means we must manage our own reactions and judgments while accepting that we cannot control the emotions or behavior of others. When you feel that strong emotional pull, when you're moved by the actions of another, recognize it for what it is, an external event. 
It's crucial to understand that it's not the actions of others that should disturb us. It's our internal response. This is where the true Stoic practice begins, in controlling how we choose to react, how we choose to interpret, and how we maintain our inner peace amidst external chaos. The dangers of unchecked passion Let's take a moment to reflect on another core teaching of the Stoics, particularly from Seneca, who often spoke about the dangers of unchecked passions. Passion, whether it manifests as love, anger or jealousy, can be a storm that wrecks the mind. This is especially true in the context of relationships. Relationships, particularly romantic ones, are fertile ground for emotional upheavals, the intensity of love can quickly transform into frustration or even resentment when our expectations aren't met. In relationships with women, these emotional storms may arise often. Yet, as the Stoics would remind us, it's not the storm itself that causes our destruction. It's our inability to remain grounded in the face of it. We must learn to cultivate what Seneca called a quiet mind. A mind that remains still even when emotions rage around us. This inner stillness is not the absence of feeling, but the ability to rise above emotional turmoil and see the situation with clarity. It's about mastering our emotional responses so that we are not constantly pulled in every direction by the whims of passion. Embracing Challenges in Relationships Women, like men, can present challenges in relationships. Sometimes these challenges appear as psychological puzzles, difficult to solve or navigate. But instead of fearing these challenges or seeing them as negative, we should view them as opportunities, opportunities to grow, to cultivate resilience, and to practice self-control. This is a core aspect of the Stoic path. The Stoics never advocated for avoidance or withdrawal from life's difficulties. On the contrary, they taught that true mastery comes from facing challenges head-on and navigating them with wisdom and grace. The ability to navigate human relationships, especially the complex and emotional ones, is one of the most valuable skills a person can develop. The goal is not to control others, but to master ourselves. It's about maintaining a strong and steady mind in the face of emotional chaos. This is what sets the Stoic apart, a calm and rational mind that stands firm even when emotions flare, a mind that is unshaken by the emotional upheavals of others. The Wisdom of Zeno and the Harmony of Nature As we think about relationships in this context, it's important to recall the wisdom of Zeno, the founder of Stoicism. Zeno taught that virtue lies in living in harmony with nature. In the realm of relationships, this means understanding that women are not adversaries or obstacles to be overcome. Instead, they are fellow travelers on the same journey, seeking connection, understanding and growth, just as we are. The mind can twist this natural pursuit into something darker if we let it. Fear, insecurity and misunderstanding can warp the beauty of human connection into a battlefield. But this is not inevitable. It is our duty, as students of Stoic philosophy, to rise above these negative emotions and to approach every interaction with women and with all people with a spirit of inner strength and calm. In doing so, we find our true power. It's not about controlling others or manipulating situations to our advantage. True power lies in mastering ourselves, in having the discipline to control our own emotions, thoughts and reactions. Standing firm in the face of emotional waves the Stoics remind us that life will bring challenges, both internal and external. Relationships, especially romantic ones, are often a source of both joy and struggle. 
But as Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In a relationship, it's easy to get caught up in the waves of attraction, desire, and fear. But the Stoic remains steady, like a rock amidst the crashing waves. The key is to remember that while we cannot control the actions or emotions of others, we can always control how we respond. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, remaining unshaken by external events, standing firm in the face of emotional turbulence and finding strength not in domination or control, but in mastery of the self. Conclusion So, the next time you find yourself in the midst of emotional upheaval, whether in a romantic relationship or any interaction with another person, remember the teachings of the Stoics. Control what is within your power, your reactions, your thoughts, your judgments, and let go of what is beyond your control. In doing so, you'll cultivate the inner strength and resilience needed to navigate the complexities of life with grace, wisdom, and clarity. This is the true path of the Stoic philosopher.